talk about a tasty Tuesday. Huh? I'm coming to you live from a bubble of fun. I hope you're ready to play HQ Words, because this game is about to kick off. We got uh, 146,000 people here in the game, so call up your second grade teacher. Let them know you're a competitive word puzzler now. You're gonna spin a wheel for a free letter, okay? If you prefer to friend of words, you get a super spin. It's got packs of letters and extra lives. I'm gonna show you 10 puzzles. Use the keyboard to guess the blank letters in any order. If you guess a letter wrong, that's a strike. If you use up all your strikes, you're eliminated. You can now earn points in HQ Words to level up. For every level you pass, you gain a bonus strike. Yeah, yeah. Did that teacher answer the phone? Amazing! I hope you bragged about how basically being a professional fella is your life now. And to think, you don't even have to leave your bed for it. <laughs> That's crazy! Word up! Tell me what's the word of word up! Word up, y'all! It's HQ's day, Tuesday, and it's stuck in traffic. So guess who's here? It's me! Welcome to HQ Words. I'm your host, the queen of letters, tenant of a wheel, Anna Royceman. Wait, that's not me. I'm not Anna Royceman. Duh! I'm Matt Richards. At Matt was funny. You know, find me here, wording out all over social media. Not sure if you heard the exciting news, but HQ Words got a little glammed up recently, and it's now part of season three on HQ. You now get points. Oh my God, points for letters? Oh, crazy. Yeah, tonight's prize is $1,000. I can give you a list of a thousand things I'd buy with that. Before we get this game crack a lackin', do you know about super spins? Mm -hmm. Well, if you've updated your app and referred a friend to HQ, any friend is a clean slate, by the way, you probably received a super wheel. You don't have to use it now, but you could. Now spin the wheel around my face. Mm -hmm. uh, my nose, my nose is twitching. I don't want to sneeze on your wheel. <laughs> okay, spin it. I like to deliver very important information in the wheel. Did you know it's National Spinach Day? Hmm? If you had your greens, you're probably gonna be like Popeye and dominate this game. Eat a bag of spinach. See if you can tap those letters faster than ever before. Okay? What'd you get? All right. Time for the first puzzle, babies. Let's spell like there's no tomorrow. Who ready to spell? I'm ready to spell. What's that spell? <laughs> spell that money. Whoo. Okay, let's see. I got this. Here we go, babies. All right. Your first hint is a seaside attraction. I got you, I'm gonna help you out, all right? Type in the letters K, D, and O. This place has it all. Talk food, they got stores, lots of people, maybe a bike lane, a Snooky. You might even see a Snooky on one of these. Uh, maybe an amusement park, a fortune teller. Let's see what you got. You got uh, about four seconds left to fill it on in. Uh, fill it on in, let the fun begin. Yeah. Did you get it? I hope so. The correct answer was the boardwalk, babies. 160,000. 363 got it right. About 15,000 of you were eliminated. A boo-hoo for you. Check it out. We're going above, above, blah, 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 blah. I can talk. We're going above and beyond on Thursday night to a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. That's right, it's Star Wars night on HQ. We got trivia at 9 p.m. and Star Words <laughs> at 9.30 p.m. I'll see y'all then, okay? Well, Anna will see you then. I'll. Tell, I'll tell Anna to tell y'all I said hi. Cool. Almost spilt my water. Okay. I'm a huge fan of dogs. Y'all know that, right? Big and small, chubby and skinny, purebred, mutt, or a flat out designer dog breed. That's your next uh, clue, okay? There's so many to choose from nowadays, all right? Some have been around for many generations. So you're not even, you're not even designer, you know? It's usually a mix between two dogs to make another cute dog. Yep. Get your solve on. Everybody, everybody, get your solve on. Come on and solve the puzzle, y'all. Yeah, you got an L, you got a B, and a D, and a D, and an L. What's the word? Oh, my God. Uh, whew. That was Anna and her parents' dog. Forget his name. But it was a Labradoodle, babies. 
Labradoodle. 157,483, got that right. 4,500, you snooze, you lose. I tried to give you clues. The most magical part about owning a dog or any pet is, you know, they're there to love you unconditionally, unless it's a cat. I think cats hate us all. And that's important if you've experienced this childhood taunt, huh? This is what you may be referred to if you act like you're better than others. Maybe you're really helpful to the point where it bothers people, okay? This isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's definitely something you get teased for. A childhood taunt. Get those answers. Lock them on in. What's it gonna be? Solve it, my friends. Yeah, you got a T and an H and an apostrophe and a P and a T. Woo! Okay. Oh yeah. Teacher's pet babies. You know, little little kiss asses that bring apples to the teacher. I hate it. There was one oh named Patrick. He was such a ah, punch him in the throat. Okay. If you're not the teacher's pet, maybe you're in the group of friends that loves to gossip. I know what's going on here. You're probably telling secrets. You know, this is a saying we used to have when uh so you got something to say, you just can't keep inside anymore. Maybe it's about yourself, maybe it's about someone else. Either way, it's out now. Telling secrets is the clue. What you gonna do? Let's see. Hmm. Got an N in there, two N's, two E's and a B. Oh, solve it on down. Yeah. Get it right, win some money, yeah. Spilling the beans, babies! It was spilling the beans. 123,559 or feeling fine and so divine, we lost about 1,800 of you. So sad. Check it out. If someone finds out you're telling secrets about them, you better have a plan to make it better. You might want to start laying it on thick. Laying it on thick. That's the clue I'm giving you. This is something my mom would say. I mean, laying it, you, you know. Laying it on thick with your personality. If you want something to happen, this is a tactic to get someone to support you and stand by what you want. Laying it on thick. Okay. Let's see what y'all got. Y'all are calling me Matt Richwards. <laughs> oh, that's just, y'all clever. That's good, I like that. Matt Richwards. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> that's a good one. All right, the answer was charm offensive. Knocked out a bunch of y'all there. I think that was, some people just got schooled. Is that what Anna said? That's how she says it? You got schooled, baby. Yeah, take that boss. Don't give me no fuss. Ha, you got schooled. Sucks to be you. <laughs> okay, nobody here needed to whip out a charm offensive to get to this point. You just made it halfway through the game, baby, with your wisdom and your energy. Yeah, we'll celebrate another five puzzles, but I'm already thinking about doing it with this. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what it is. Alliterative dessert. It's an alliterative dessert. Yep, that means it's got the same letters. I had to look at it, I was like, hmm, a what? <laughs> alliterative or not, this is a delicious dessert. Wow, it even made me describe it in an alliterate way. Delicious dessert, see that? All right, lock it on in. You got uh, two S's, uh, two T's, and a B. What's it gonna be? We're at puzzle six, babies. We got four puzzles left. Oh, that looks bomb.com. <laughs> Making me hungry. It's bad enough I can't fit into half my suits. This is gonna cause a problem. 30,241 of you got strawberry shortcake. You should treat yourself. Never treat yourself. Go get some strawberry shortcake when you're done playing a game or order it online or something. Do you got thick skin? I do, a whole thick middle section from eating a lot of desserts and treats. It's a trait that comes in handy when your surroundings change, you know what I'm saying? My best advice is to stay adaptable. That's the hint, okay? This is another way of saying that. You might wanna just figure out a way to adapt to any kind of change rather than fight it. Hey, speaking of fights, y'all a fan of boxing? I just started learning a little bit. You know what I'm saying? About to get my punch on, yeah. Slim down like Creed. Hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're welcome. I didn't know that I could.
couldn't say one of the words there. Ugh. It's my gift from me to you. Rolling with the punches was the answer there. 27,950, got it right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, wordies. We rolled with the punches, so now what? A little R&R, &R, right? I think listening to some music will do the trick, but what's the folk singer doing? They're definitely doing something for their performance. It's popular among folk music in general. Anyone here like acoustic songs? Hmm? Hmm? Anybody? Matt Richwards. <laughs> that's, that's clever, I like that. Yeah, all right. Hmm, what is the folk singer doing? Huh? Y'all know? A bunch of y'all know, I hope. I hope a lot of y'all get it. Okay. Strumming her ukulele. <laughs> 23,552 knew what to do. Oh shoot, look at you. And about 4,000 of y'all got it wrong. It's all good. You live to word another day. But the rest of y'all, y'all gonna keep it moving, keep it pushing, okay? Folk music is so dainty and sweet. Makes me think of balloons and, and picnics full of rainbows. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm into this optimistic point of view, huh? This is a way to describe how someone considers the world in a positive way. Sometimes it's as if you're looking through something other than your own eyes. That was the clue, an optimistic point of view. I like this game, this is fun. And I need to get stuck in traffic more often. Yeah, yeah, word up. Okay, babies. Did you get it? I hope so. The answer was rose-colored glasses. 23,240 got that right. 1,241 did not. It looks like everyone here played this game with rose-colored glasses because it's feeling really positive in here. And y'all made it to the final puzzle! Woo! Final puzzle song! Y'all didn't get it wrong! Final puzzle song! What? Final puzzle song. About 200,000 started with us, and we whittled it down to about 43. They're still watching, that's crazy. Yes, okay, here we go. Uh, we made it to the final puzzle. We started tonight with a whole bunch of y'all, okay? Ready to make it through school, and here we are at the grand finale. We're gonna dance after when you win this game. Maybe to this, your final hint is hip hop lyric. Hmm, it's a classic hip hop song by a rapper who I'd say is cool. Pretty cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, hip hop lyric. Hippity hippity hop. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Anna Royceman. Let's see, you got an apostrophe, an A, an I, an E. What's it gonna be? Time's up, babies. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. Woo! Ladies love Cool James, babies. And apparently, H Cuties love Matt Richwards. So, that was the answer. We got one or 16,022 winners. I'm so proud of y'all, man. Real talk. Y'all did that. Yeah. You did it. Oh, dearie. <laughs> that was fun. We survived. Oh man, let's see. Okay, Jay Z will. You got some money. Soy Cristobal. Congratulations to you, Cristobal. Uh, Jacob, eight. Congrats. Y'all are the top three winners. Okay, you solved the fastest. You got the points. Holy shoot. Holy dang. No top three. Sorry. I said that wrong. You got seven cents. <laughs> okay, I was flying by the seat of my pants on this one. That's it for tonight. Congrats to all the winners. I've been your host, Kevin Hart. Ah, <laughs> our latest word nerds who dropped in tonight. Thank you all for coming. I wish we could all hang out, but uh, there's a strawberry shortcake waiting for me because I was a teacher's pet today. <laughs> I'm joking, but hey, it can happen if I continue uh, staring through those rose-colored glasses. You know what I'm saying? You get cake? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, 
I'm Anna Roisman. Follow me on social media at Anna Roisman. There's probably more pics of Joey the Labradoodle on my Instagram, Anna Roisman. I'll see you tomorrow night and every night at 9.30 Eastern Time. Refer those friends to get a super wheel spin. Sweet dreams of letters and phrases and words. Oh my. Good night, word nerds. I love you.